What's up everybody, welcome back to a new video. Today I have my first ever box of Panini Encased Football. This is 2018 Panini Encased, and I believe this is the third installment of it in 16 and 17 they had uh, this product. And this year I believe they added all these vet hits in terms of autographs. I don't believe they had them in previous years. It was only rookie stuff. So now they have Tom Brady autos, they have a bunch of random guys. I saw some Trent Dilfers, I saw some all sorts of players, Drew Brees. So we can look forward to all those guys. And in the background I have uh, the two cards I have from this product are the best ones, and that's the Warner Fournette um, Rookie Notable Signatures to 10, and there's the other one, the Zeke, numbered to 49. Graded 9.5, and that's graded 9. These are my favorite sets uh, from the past two, which is the Rookie Notable Signatures, those nice pictures with the helmets off. That was the Battle Cry one from 2017. They're really nice stuff. So I have this box right here. It cost me $200 at my LCS. I believe you can get it... Um, since it sold out on Panini's site for 200 I don't look up the prices beforehand, but I believe that you can probably get it maybe the mid-200s, mid-low 200s. If it's more than that, then it, maybe that's the case. Uh, this picture is actually the same picture, I think, from Origins of Saquon. I'm a Giants fan, so I love that picture. Let's look at the box. You get five total cards and 2018 National Football League trading cards. You get two autographs, including one graded on card and uh, two mem memorabilia, I think. Two, is it two? I think it's two. Two mem cards. Per box on average so that's uh graded by bgs and yeah there you go beckett and psa are the only ones i really acknowledge so let's get into this box there also is like sgc and like gm something i don't know There's a bunch of random ones i see on ebay that i don't really recognize all right so let's get into this box 200 dollars, so 40 dollars a card and we're gonna put this right to the side oof this is uh the first time i've bought in case and in the past years i just didn't think it was worth it but this year i said why not saquon's on the cover gotta give us some good luck i have the best running back from those past classes well not the best ones but the highest hyped ones and we gotta hope that we can pull something nice so we'll be sleeving all these cards up we'll be using our friends filler and filler two to uh protect our cards so let's get this thing open all right put Saquon in the back to uh, wish us some good luck. Maybe a Saquon will come out of the box and these ones move aside. Put that right there, there we go. So here is our giant, look how thick this is, geez. Uh, these ones, I don't wanna move them because I don't know, but they're, these are much thinner, actually I will move them. Here's to what they look like in the past years. So major thickness difference. All right. So this one we'll do last. And then here's our pack with the four non-graded cards. And then empty box. So nice and secure the way I like it. Like for example, Origins, it's a complete mess when it comes to the packaging. It's just jumping around in there. And I don't like it. So now let's get into this this pack. I, I don't want to damage the pack only because since I'm a Giants fan and Saquon is awesome, I want to keep the pack. So let's see if I can get this open nice and gently, if it's possible. So far, so good. I think the auto will be on the back, so I'm gonna do this. Hold them tight and kind of slowly rip this. For those of you who don't know, you can damage the corners of these you know, thick cards in single packs when you pull on them like this. That's why I'm so careful all the time. And now I've come at a bit of a crossroads. There we go. I believe the card is intact and everything. Take a filler, insert him in right in the front. And there we go. Empty pack. We'll rest it right there. Oh, never mind. Put it right there. And let's see what we get. So the first four cards here. I think we have a redemption on the back. I don't know who's a redemption, so I guess we'll just see what happens. First card, this should be our base card, I believe. All right, this is AJ Green. See, if you're a fan of in-person autographs, they actually leave a spot here. I don't know if that's intentionally, but they leave a nice spot for AJ Green to sign. So me personally, I don't like those in-person autographs as much as the official ones, but if you're an AJ fan or any other player, you get a sign right there, which is pretty cool. So now we should have two mem cards back to back. So let's see our first mem card. Mike White is our first one, two of 25. I think Mike White, should, like Darius Fountain, should have been taken out of the set because he has no chance on doing anything in the league, at least for the immediate future. 
All right. So that's a sapphire, I think. Substantial rookie swatches. I know that there's sapphire, there's emerald, there's diamond, um, gold, and a bunch of different parallels. Then we have Tyree Kill. 33 of 50. You know, I didn't check it. This is definitely player worn. Yeah, this one's player worn, but this one is player worn. <laughs> so no game worn, even though it's $200. All right. Tyree Kill. So now let's see. This is definitely a redemption, right? Okay, it's a redemption. Let's see who it is. Um, I know that Saquon recently has been in redemption form. I don't know if that's the case here, but also Kalen Ballage and Kiki Kuti are also redemption. So, <laughs> yeah. 96 point football cased. Rookie endorsement Sapphire. All right, so it's not Saquon. Oh, it's Jamon Moore. Oh, Jamon Moore sucks. So Jamal Moore, hopefully this inside card is a really good one because Jamal Moore is terrible. All right. Uh, we'll just put him here. We're really hoping for something on here. So let's open this carefully. Don't want to destroy the... Oh, never mind. All right, let's see. Oh, by the way, after this video, I'll have two quick redemptions that came in. So stay tuned for those if you want. But yeah, just letting you know. So after this video, it's not completely over. Um, oh, well, let's see the grade first. 9-5. Oh, wait, we can see the player. Earl Campbell. That's actually pretty cool. So it's not a rookie, but it's a, a legend. Is it game worn? It's player worn. 10 autograph. It's pretty sweet. Card is very thick. Looks like maybe a little over 130. 21 of 25. I don't know what number he was, but Hall of Fame material six. Earl Campbell. That's not bad at all. Considering that I watched a case break and there were some pretty bad boxes. Uh, as usually is the case with Panini stuff, but let's see. 2018 Panini case, Hall of Fame. So I guess it's just the base one. That's pretty cool, Earl Campbell. It's a good one to get. Not bad. So, um, just recap this box really quickly. And actually, let me see if I can. Oh no, wrong one. We need graded card sleeves. I don't know if they'll fit in a standard graded card sleeve. These ones. So let's find out right now. This is gonna be interesting to see. So this thing is beefy. I don't know if it'll fit. Uh, will it fit? Might just. Oh, it fits. Hey, there we go. All right, let me. Peel this down so, so we don't want to scratch this up at all. So there we go. Earl Campbell. Not bad. I don't have an auto of his, so that's pretty cool. So there we go. That out of the way. And then we have Tyree Kill, Mike White, <laughs> Mike White, AJ Green. If I ever meet AJ Green, I'll have him sign this card. And uh, Jamon Moore. Yeah. All right. But yeah, so okay box. And I'll just quickly get into uh, these two redemptions that just came in. Um, number one. I know what these are, by the way. Number one is this Jalen Holmes. I think this came from my packs in paradise first off the line box so yeah 11 to 25 this is from um first off line prism and next one is yeah here we go next one is carry on johnson from contenders auto is a little more complex than that usual kj he does so definitely can't complain about that and just the base one. So yeah, not bad. Two uh, redemptions that came in with that nice panini sticker, no longer that scotch tape. So there we go. And then from this break, I guess I'll highlight the uh, the Campbell. So no Saquon today, but not bad. I'll definitely, uh, I'll take it. Could have been worse. And 
that's going to do it. So what do you guys think about in case this year? Is that a product you'd buy? Is the price too expensive? Or in my opinion, the reason I didn't buy in past years was the quality of the product. In my opinion, was just a little bit, you know, too low for the price. For example, I bought this card for well under $200 and I bought that for well under $100. And those two cards would maybe come in a case to put into perspective. So yeah, think about that before you buy a box. I buy one just for the channel, but um, this product and like most Panini products, buying singles would be 10 times better than trying to pull something nice because the prices uh, for football cards usually isn't too bad, but the prices for football boxes is nuts and it doesn't make any sense, but that's just some advice from, uh, from me to you. So take that, do with that what you will and that's gonna do it. What do you guys pull from your boxes if you got any? And uh, we only have a couple products left for football for the rest of the year. I believe Honors is one of them. I know National Treasures comes out. I'm not going to rip a box of that. And I think there might be one more, but I can't think of it. If there is, then there is. If there's not, then I just blanked out on one. But, yeah, so that's going to do it. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, comment, and sub. And I will see you guys later.